We've got a final from Phoenix where the Suns win game one over the Pelicans, 110-99. to uh, Suns led by as many as 23. They win by 11. Cover the 9.5 point spread. Game goes under the total of 224. Chris Paul, the story in this game, he goes for 30 points, 19 of them in the fourth quarter. Really a stat stuffer in this one. 10 assists, 7 rebounds, 3 steals, and a block as the Suns take a 1-0 series lead. And perhaps they're going to sweep this series because it looks like a team on another level is what they are uh, showing right now at this uh, this juncture. And uh, let's just uh, let's get going. All right, back here with CBS Sports NBA insider Bill Ryder. Uh, Chris Paul putting his mark on this game everywhere. 19 of his 30 in the fourth. 10 assists, 7 rebounds, 3 steals. Look, this game really was never in doubt for Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, what you saw there was a test run of a championship-level team. And a guy in Chris Paul, he's one of the all-time great. One of the few, three or four all-time great point guards in the history of the game. He's missing that elusive ring. He knows he's got the team. He knows he's still got the game. And he knows that the end is probably, not probably, it is closer than the beginning of his career. And he just saw he's going to be locked in every single game like he was at the end of this game to make sure that the Suns got the, uh, the outcome they're supposed to get. And I think you're right. They will get the rest of the series. 17th career 30-point game in the playoffs for Chris Paul. Uh, they're now 48-0 when leading after three quarters. So if they've got a lead after three quarters, it's, it's, it's over. 48-0. Look, I mean, did the Pelicans get one game or is this a sweep? It's almost certainly a sweep. I was often a team will get a game. It'll be the first game at home, a game three in a series like this, because whoever the team is that knows they're going to win a little bit of a letdown, maybe not the same focus. But Chris Paul doesn't let that happen on the teams that he's a part of. He is the leader of that team behind the scenes in a way. He is driven. He's driving his guys. I think it's very likely if there is a sweep in this first round of the NBA playoffs, there always is. It's almost certainly the Suns against the Pelicans. Not because the Pelicans aren't a good team, but because they're not even remotely in the same class as the Suns, and the Suns aren't going to let go of that rope. Chris Paul is hell-bent on a championship. I think you'll see it every single game he plays in this postseason. All right, so the Suns get off to a good start, take a 1-0 series lead with a 110-99 victory. They are the favorites right now to win the NBA title at plus 220. If I gave you 100 bucks. Okay. Are you putting your money on the Suns, the Bucks, or the Warriors? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, all right, so I've got money on the Bucks, but I think that's a, a less effective bet because they're coming out of the East. Those are the three teams. You just named the only two teams that can beat the Phoenix Suns. I like the Golden State Warriors if Steph Curry is Steph Curry, and, and I think he will be because of that championship pedigree. But we saw the Suns last year almost win an NBA championship. I think each of those feels like a coin flip series. Suns, Warriors, if we get there. Suns, Bucks, if we get there. All right. Suns looking for their first NBA title in franchise history. They take care of business in game one, beating the Pelicans 110 to 99. And here's a look at the rest of way, at least games one, two, three, and four, which likely is going to be a sweep. But who knows? Pelicans might steal a game. Game two Tuesday back in Phoenix. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.